Hi YouTube, this is Rose, pretending to Rose. So, I uploaded a video on my other channel, PTR Short or PTR Adventures, uh, two days ago, and it was just a very short clip of the husky that we have here that I did. I just kind of like threw up a short little clip of them, um, you know, a short. And today I went on to upload another video on to PTR Adventures. And I noticed right away I went from yesterday I had 99 subscribers on that channel. And today I have 109. So <laughs> I'm looking like, where'd all these subscribers come from? Overnight I got 10 subscribers. So I went and looked, and it was from that video, I got 4,500 views in two days, which is awesome for a short. Doesn't really help me other than I may get a few subscribers out of it, and whether they stay, that's another thing. You know, you might get 10 subscribers overnight, and then all of a sudden lose them a day later, you know. <laughs> they just disappear. Because they don't stay on your show long enough, you know. So I always tell people, when you subscribe, watch about three minutes worth. Leave a comment and always like. That way your subscription sticks. But I was just fascinated that I got 10 subscribers overnight. And I check my channel every day. Except for when I was really sick and down and out of it. I couldn't look at my phone without my head spinning. So, while I was sick, I didn't I didn't do anything on YouTube. The very few days that I did get on there was very short amounts of time. But I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know how long they'll stay, but I know I've had, I've heard other people talk about, you know, their subscribers not sticking from shorts. But let me tell you, I've had several shorts that I've done in the past that I've gotten subscribers from, and I still have some of those subscribers. So I am happy that I did get them. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to be keeping my eye on it. We'll go back down to 99 tomorrow. <laughs> but I, I thought I'd just do a quick video on that. I just thought that was pretty awesome that, you know, overnight I grew 10 <laughs> 10 subscribers don't know where they came from. Like I said, just one short, and all of a sudden, all these people subscribed. I hope it keeps going, and I hope a bunch of them stay. I hope they keep coming back for more. Now, if I could get them to do that on my main channel, hello, that would be awesome. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying this YouTube co-op thing. Uh, starting a YouTube co-op, I'm not quite sure where to go next or what to do next. I might start another Facebook group called YouTube Co-op. No sub for sub. I do not do sub for sub. I don't care for it. I have over, I'm subscribed to over a thousand people. I do not get time to watch all their stuff. I watch who I can when I can. I do my best to, you know, keep up with all my friends. Uh, it's not easy. So, if I'm not watching every one of your shows, I apologize now. But I already got so many people that I watch. And it's very difficult to watch people every day, every day, every day, every day. It's very difficult. I don't expect people to watch me every day. And I upload, except for when I was sick. Almost every day. I try to upload as often as possible. Um, sometimes it's just me flapping at the gums. Other times it's, you know, whatever I'm trying to teach or pass on knowledge. Uh, I like talking about my journals. I want to get back to doing that again. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do. I got some upcoming stuff. I'm going to be driving all over the East Coast and doing videos with other YouTubers. So I'm all excited about that. So I'm going to have a whole lot new content coming up. 
So, uh, hopefully that will be a, a good start to my YouTube co-op. If I make it to your area, I will try and contact you and see if we can't do a meetup somehow and do a video together, go get coffee, just sit at a coffee shop somewhere and do out a video and talk about our different channels. Uh, I'm willing to go do the extra effort to do whatever I have to do. So if anybody's up for the challenge, let me know. Uh, or if somebody else would like to do the Facebook group, and then we can all start putting our videos on there. We're helping each other out. You know, a co-op is like a farmer's co-op. They band together in times of need to help each other out. They do businesses together. They come up with ideas together. They pass along whatever knowledge they have to each other. You know, that's what a co-op does. They, they become a member of the family. You know, they do a meetup where they get together and really discuss stuff. You know, whether it's over Zoom meetings or at a local bistro or something. You know, this is what they do. So, this is where I'm looking right now. The idea is still just spinning around in my head. I did start a hashtag uh, YouTube co-op. Although, it won't let me put the little dash in there. So, it says hashtag YouTube coop. <laughs> <coughs> but that's okay. If you want to go ahead and use that in your description. Hashtag YouTube co-op. Or hashtag YouTube coop. It will automatically put your video on to that. So, I, I I think it's something that if it becomes widely known, a lot of people will be going on there. I think that, you know, it's something that we can practice. I learned this from Alexia HD. She doesn't sugarcoat anything. Love Alexia. So, she had me do the, the word challenge. With the ask, hashtag Ask Alexia HD. And I just loved how it happened. She's still doing it. She's got another person doing the doing this. So, uh, so far I think there was three of us that did it. And now a fourth one's coming forward to do it. So, we'll get to go on and watch her uh, Choose Your Word Carefully challenge. And I thought... This is such, she came up with this fantastic idea. I'm going to try it. So, let's make it a thing. Let's get together, band our efforts together, and really do something with our lives. So, I do watch, like, a lot of Roberta Blake and Think Media and stuff like that to learn. And no, I do not know how to edit my videos. No, I do not know how to make the, all the thumbprints and, you know, I don't know how to do all that. But I am willing to pay somebody to do it for me. My daughter is extremely busy right now and have not had a chance to do it. Um, I'm excited to, to start getting something done and start growing. Branding myself. I've been, I do have one Facebook group that I run now. I don't go on it very often. I put my videos on there and that's about it. I don't have time for much of anything else. Although, I'm trying to get better at it. I have some ideas coming up. I've been brainstorming. So get your notepads out and your papers and pens. Whatever you want to use, your journals and start writing down ideas. And let's work together. Let's work together and get something going. I've tried different things. I've tried WhatsApp groups. They did not work for me. Um, I tried messenger groups. They did not work for me either. Uh, I've on 
a ton of Facebook groups. TBR creators. Love his. There's, I'm on Carrie and Barry Logs. I'm on theirs. Xander Dobson. I'm on his. Uh, so I do have Facebook groups where I put my videos out there. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. It, it, it takes time. It takes time. But I'm I'm up for the challenge. So if you want to be involved in the YouTube co-op, let me know now in the comments. I'd be ecstatic to have you helping me. And we could work together. Whether, like I said, ever it's over the phone, over a Zoom meeting. Or, you know, getting together, doing a meetup. You know, doing videos together. Let's make this work. We can do it. Alexia, I'm not flying to France. <laughs> so if you're watching this, <coughs> Alexia is from France. She used to live in California. Now she lives in France. I would love to visit France, but not if I need a COVID passport. <laughs> not not going to happen. So once they're all done with the whole COVID passport stuff, maybe I'll consider flying to France. That would be wonderful. I would truly enjoy that. Absolutely would love it. But anyways, here I am yapping at the gums again. And my video is getting kind of long. And I did not want to make this just a, a short little vlog today. I just wanted to give you some updates on my PTR adventures. Which I'm truly ecstatic for. Uh, I'm just learning how to build myself up. And... I want you guys to come right along with me. So, let's keep pushing forward and see what we can come up with. Love you, YouTube. Bye.